Hey guys, Dr. Papillon here with another speed build. This speed build is of a cozy colonial. I wanted to make a very different build but still stick with the styles that I like compared to the brownstone that I uploaded last week. Because that build was like more cramped, it had a little bit more of an urban feel because it had the little storage unit in the back. It was basically an apartment but built on a normal lot. And this build is definitely a freestanding home, so that's one thing that's really fun about it. I had a lot of difficulty finding windows that I liked, but I kind of just stuck with it. It's mostly the, um, like, accent windows. When I build, I usually do build the, uh, facade of the house based on a picture that I find on the internet. And so I was trying to match windows to that, and we don't have windows that looked like that photo, so it was difficult to find something like that. But enough about the build, because you guys probably can see what I'm doing. So I've been doing a lot of stuff towards improving the channel, like really working on thumbnails, which is difficult. This thumbnail I made a few days ago though, and I don't really know how to make a speed build thumbnail more appealing than just having a nice screenshot of the house and like a title. So this one's not that great, but I've been trying to crop out backgrounds of like my cast videos and stuff. It's not easy, but I've been learning. I'm also going to be starting a um, challenge legacy let's play thing soon, and I've been setting that up, which is fun. Um, I've also got a lot of build ideas, which is weird because I thought this was going to be mostly build channel and so far out of the now four videos on here, there's only two builds and two cast videos and I'm not really even a cast person, but I came up with a really good idea and I'm, I've been enjoying it. Um, I'm thinking about playing some other games too testing the waters there. Like, I've got House Flipper, I've got Yandere Simulator, I've got a um, Android emulator on my computer, so I could try doing BitLife and screen recording that fairly easily, I think. It wouldn't have all the same features that I've got on my phone, because I'm a Bitacin on my phone, and I wouldn't want to buy Bitacin again for an emulator. Unless I can sign in. It might let me sign in and then it wouldn't matter. Just have my Bittison, uh situation there. That'd be fine. This weekend I went to my sibling's father's uh, spring picnic thing. My siblings and I have a different dad. And um, every spring he throws a like barbecue picnic. And he lives out in the woods. So... We drove three hours out into the woods to see him, and it was it was fun. It was really hot out there, a little bit muggy. He has a lake, so there were some bugs too. Um, like my brother and my nephew both had um, a problem with ticks. It wasn't that big of a problem, but it was still they found ticks on them, which is never fun. Um, but. I got to bring my boyfriend up there, and he got to meet, like, my grandma, my aunts and uncles. And I think that that was good for him, because he gets to meet some of the family that he wouldn't get to meet otherwise, because they live a little bit further away than where we live. I probably should have brought, like, a swimsuit or something, because everyone went swimming in the lake, and I didn't... I had heard that there was a lake, but it didn't click in my head, it's a lake you can swim in. I heard, like, fishing lake. Like a fishing hole or something. And while you can fish on it, you don't want to fish on it when there are kids in the water. Um... There was giant Jenga, which was handmade by my sibling's father. I'm gonna call him Skip, because that's what we call him. His nickname is Skip. And he literally took two by fours and cut them into blocks to make a giant Jenga set, which was kind of fun. Um, I was playing with my brother-in-law, my boyfriend, and some 
of my siblings' cousins. And we, instead of doing three, we decided to stack them on the short side and have five blocks in um, going horizontally, then vertically, then horizontally. And that created some interesting uh, changes in how the weight is distributed. Distributed? Distributed. That's a really weird... I don't know why I pronounced it weird, but you know, it, it happens. Um, I actually kind of really liked this kitchen because it's like black and white and it's got kind of tacky floorboards of the black and white checkers, but it's it still kind of looks classy because the rest of the kitchen is black and white and blue, but you know, it's simple stuff. I actually had a decent amount of fun with this house, but it was also late at night when I was building it, so I was getting tired, and every once in a while I would get distracted by the YouTube video I was watching at the time, and so you would see like a weird pause, and it's like, is she reading something? It's like, nah, I was, I was watching a YouTube video. It was probably Lil Simsy. I don't remember who, but I watch her a lot. She's actually my inspiration for a lot of the speed build voiceovers I do, or the voiceovers in general. I also have a building style that I like to think is similar to hers, but I don't know. I've also been taking inspiration from a lot of other YouTubers, like, I like that The Sim Supply doesn't really take his Let's Plays all that seriously, but he's, he's just there to have fun with them and play how he wants to play, and I really like that. I like how Delegracy, when she takes screenshots of builds, she takes pictures of the floor plan on every level and includes those so that people could try to recreate it if they're learning how to build from recreating builds like that. So there's, there's a few. I plan on trying to do um, like news or speculation videos like Pixelade. It's weird, when I found Pixelade, I found him on Twitter. I started, like, I started following him because I liked his tweets. And then he, like, blew up on Twitch, and then his YouTube following got bigger because his Twitch following got bigger. And... I like... I like his news videos. But since I haven't ever really watched his videos Besides his nudes videos, it's hard for me to get into his streams or his, like, let's plays and stuff. He also doesn't post that many let's plays right now. Right now on his YouTube, it's basically videos that are 40 seconds long saying, Hey, I'm streaming. Or, Hey, Island Paradise leak. Ooh, how exciting. I think it's a little bit late for me to talk about the Island Paradise leak, but... I think maybe when the trailer comes out I might do a reaction because that sounds like fun and I'm gonna watch it anyway so might as well record myself watching it and then you guys could get to see my my ugly mug. It's, it's not an ugly face, it's just most of the time when I'm making YouTube videos I don't have to have my face showing so I'm in pajamas with bedhead sitting at my desk, eating raviolis. I'm not eating raviolis right now. I was the other day when I was editing, though. It wasn't when I was doing the voiceover. I don't get, like, food when I'm doing voiceovers, but when I'm editing, I can take however long I please to eat and then edit. That's actually one thing that I didn't expect when starting YouTubing, that I wouldn't like doing the voiceovers. Because... When I was younger, I loved to do, like, voiceovers of, like, voiceover projects of, like, animes or games and stuff and do parodies on them. And I would audition for a lot of those projects and get into a few of them. And so I liked recording my voice. I think the difference is that then I was given lines to perform. Nowadays, I have a video that's 13 minutes long and I just have to sit here and talk to myself and think of things to say. Like, it's, it's 
it's not that entertaining to do this. I kind of like editing more because it's easy and... <laughs> There's not really a bad way to edit a speed build. Like, I guess I could make it faster or I could make it slower, but... I find, um, plugging it in, speeding it up times 400, exporting it, plugging it back in again, the exported version, speeding it by 200, adding the screenshots to it, adding an end card, then creating the voiceover and music in Audacity, plugging that in, then exporting that and uploading it. I, I feel like editing it is a lot easier, it's just... I have to physically make the voiceover. And the voiceover is almost as effort intensive, I feel like, as making the build. Because when I'm making the build, I can just chill out, and even though it takes a long time, I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm listening to audiobooks. I could be watching TV if I set up Netflix on my computer, because my TV is not facing this direction. Um, so I could I could do a lot of things when I'm building. I could just mess around and make fun builds, but when I'm making a voiceover, I have to, like, think about what I'm saying. I'm not actually thinking about what I'm saying at all right now. I thought about it before I started. It's like, hey, what am I going to talk about? Um, well, I guess I'll talk about the build. I guess I'll talk about the trip I went on this weekend. What else am I going to talk about? <laughs> I don't do that much right now. I'm on summer vacation. Oh, right now I'm gardening in The Sims. Like, look at how I'm landscaping. Whoo, how exciting. But, um... Yeah, the voiceovers are weird. But, it looks like I'm getting to screenshots, which means that it's a happy day in my life, because that means that it's time for me to wrap things up. Thank you for watching. Why don't you leave a comment, a like, maybe subscribe, because these are the types of videos I put out. Decent production quality for a beginner, really bad voiceovers. You know, if you really wanted to, I could just be muted. You could hit mute and just say, nah, I'm not, I'm not listening to that loser, and then have a great day, but right now it comes with a voiceover. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.